It is a serious threat that airline pilots say you may not even know is on board. They're talking about computer batteries shipped in your flight's cargo hold. Investigative reporter Morgan Lowe is live at Sky Harbor Airport tonight with that story. Morgan. Catherine, it's common for airlines to ship air freight in the cargo holds of their passenger planes. But the Airline Pilots Association is raising some serious questions about the safety of some of that cargo. Darren Patterson loves the convenience of his laptop computer. I can go outside and use my laptop. I can be in my car. But three weeks ago, something in his computer went haywire. It went nuts and everything blinked and then all of a sudden you could smell like burning plastic and then that was it for the hard drive. The battery in Patterson's laptop overheated to the point that it nearly started a fire. Where's the battery located on a laptop? It's a problem computer technician Eric Moran hears about on a regular basis. Do you get a lot of complaints about yeah. this? All the time. Once a month? More than twice a week. Wow. Moran says the culprit is the lithium-ion battery located inside laptops. They're small but pack a lot of energy. This YouTube video shows what can happen when one of the batteries is damaged. Sparks and flames shoot four feet into the air. It's easy to imagine how this could injure a person, burn down a house, or even worse. Batteries for electronic devices have been linked to 100 incidents, including fires, onboard cargo planes, and passenger aircraft, five of them in the last year and a half alone. Last month in Minneapolis, it was a FedEx jet. In June in Honolulu, it happened on a UPS jet. In August 2008, during a flight from Washington, D.C. to Dallas, it was an American Airlines plane. In March of 2008, in Denver, it happened on a United Airlines plane. Earlier that same month, during a flight from Chicago to Tokyo, it happened on another United Airlines flight. Mark Rogers from the Airline Pilots Association says he's most concerned about crates of these batteries shipped in the luggage holds of cargo and passenger aircraft something that happens every day. We have asked for immediate action because we don't feel the safety of our passengers and crew members can wait. In a statement to CBS 5, the FAA wrote, the agency has issued several advisories related to lithium batteries and is in the process of creating new rules to safeguard air transport. Meantime, Darren Patterson says he saw enough of the danger firsthand with his melted laptop. He's switching to a desktop computer. I say they need to fix it because it's still a safety issue. It is a big deal. One important point here, the pilots union is not trying to prevent people from bringing their own laptops on board aircraft. They're focusing on the cargo hold and the shipments that can contain hundreds, if not thousands, of these lithium-ion batteries. And if you want to see more of our interview with the Pilots Union or read the FAA's entire reaction to our investigation, go to our website, kpho.com, and click on the Five Investigates page.